Hello everyone. Today let's see how to replace the HDD with SSD and clone the OS on this HP laptop. First of all, double click on the file which you have downloaded. It will prompt, it will ask for permission, say yes. Now say next. The installation will start and next I accept next personal use yes it is for personal use I agree to the following next Install desktop shortcut, just click on this. Install. Now launch now, finish. Okay. Now take your new SSD. Okay, this is the new SSD. Here I will be connecting the new SSD with this Seagate Go connector. If you don't have one of this kind, this connector, if you do not have this, then you can buy one external hard disk casing for 2.5 inch HDD or SSD. You can buy one casing and in that casing you will get this converter. It converts from SATA to USB. Connect it in this way. So plug it to the USB here. Plugged it in. So now here right click on the this PC. Manage whenever you are cloning an hard disk or SSD, just remember to plug in the power supply, connect the laptop to the mains AC mains. Here just click on the disk management okay now this is the it is asking to create or launch a disk style so better select gpt it's the newer version used for uefi guid partition table okay Now click right click on this partition that is drive SSD. Now click on the new simple volume. Next, 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 next. Just go on clicking next. So the drive is created. Now, double click on this Macrom Reflect. Say yes. This one is of 442.18 GB. This is the C drive which we need to clone. Here click on clone this disk. Select a disk to clone to. 
so here I need to select the disk on which way I need to clone the C drive here disk 1 okay this is the disk I want to clone to it is 465.76 GB that is 500 GB SSD now into clinic next and we can schedule even schedule the tasks there is nothing to do here now we need to click on finish so run this backup backup now what do you want to do now save and my clone enter a name for this backup definition the saved backup definition okay 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 now the cloning has started let's wait as it will take time let's wait for it to complete here we have some tasks that can be done when the cloning is complete here you can see shut down hibernate suspend or reboot now I have set it to not set so I will wait for it to complete now the process has started there will be many process to be done so it will continue step by step I don't have to do anything else here all I need to do is just sit calmly and watch for it to complete now it has reached 22 percent so we will have to still wait for it to complete now it has reached to 62 percent overall progress now it is a total overall progress is at 99 percent So the overall progress has completed, it shows 100% but the current progress is at 98. So let's wait for it to complete. As the cloning is complete, let's restart and check. Do not close the lid, just keep the lid open, turn it upside down and place it in this way here, turn it upside down here, it should be open, lid should be open and place it this way so that we will avoid breakage of this way here now just take this out here and this one as well Remove all the screws. All the screws are of same size.
So slide the dry DVD dry outside. Pull it gently. There are no screws here. So turn it again to the laptop. Now from here, try to unlock it. Hope it's visible. This way. Now again turn it upside down. Here there are locks. Try to unlock them gently. Do not use too much force. Be gentle. If you use force, there are chances that the locks will break. Here. The main board of this laptop has an M2 slot as shown by this arrow mark for installing an SSD. But the HDD of this laptop it was having bad sectors and giving problem while operating. Hence customer insisted for replacing the HDD with SSD. There are no screws, extra screws for this to mount on the cabinet. So just put it in this way. Just I'll show it once again. It was in this way here. Locked in this lock here, two points. So just pull it up a little bit. Okay. Now drag it back side. This way here. That's all. Don't pull it too hard on the top. Don't pull it like this, you will break this connector. It for this, remove these screws. Now we take out the SSD. Now place it in this way, take two screws. As we have already cloned the OS on this SSD, so insert it. Now, keep this old SSD for your data. Okay, take this cover, press it this way, just go on pressing gently. Okay, now take the DVD drive, insert it. The screws one by one, fix them. First of all, let's check whether the panel is fitting properly. So yes, it's good. Now, here we go. Okay, now this one. Okay, that's all. Now we'll boot and check 